Good evening, guys, and welcome to another, yet another Star Wars review. Tonight, I'm also bringing you this guy, Darth Maul, uh, also from the Sith Legacy Collection Pack. Um, this time, uh, it's a Darth Maul without a robe on, uh, which makes him pretty cool. You can see all the Sith tattoos he's been tattooed with. Also on the back here. He's really an amazing model. He's uh, the first top mall I have, and um, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, he's super well articulated, and uh, he's well made in general. Everything about him is just awesome. Um, he's got a bald joint neck, bald in the shoulder, bald in his elbow, and a swivel arm. Here. Uh, he's got a swivel waist and a bald giant. Um, also here, he's got a swivel leg, ball uh, hinged knee and ball hinged um, angle. So they really uh, made him as posable as possible. Uh, there's nothing to complain about there. Um, comes with this lightsaber also, which is well made. Um, can't really find much to complain about with this guy. Really, really amazing. Uh, and Darth Maul is one of my favorite Sith Lords. Uh, only beaten by a very, very few. Um, so I was very anxious to get this model um, in the package. Uh, I was quite surprised by him, uh, his articulation, and just generally how uh, well made he is. I'll let you have another look here, all the way around. So, if you haven't already picked up uh, the Sith Legacy package, or uh, just do not have a Darth Maul in your collection, I absolutely recommend picking up the package, uh, because this guy alone, uh, the package is worth it. Um, his posability, his looks, his, the fact that he doesn't have a character's robe, so you can really, really see all his tattoos, just makes him plain, plain cool. So if I had to rate this one, it would probably be a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, he's perfect, nothing is perfect actually, but he's pretty, pretty damn close. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this, and um, until the next time, may the force be with you all.